Hello and welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Great to have you here. Quick unboxing today. It's been a while since I did a video. I've been moving house. I've got a complete new setup. Hopefully the lighting will be a bit better. I've got to work on that. But we're back to buying watches and this is a watch that I featured on one of the community polls that I did. Um, which was, should I buy this watch or that watch? Now the watch I featured actually was the orange version of this, but this one isn't the orange version. But I've done some Citizens recently, so I thought it was time we did a Seiko. So this watch has been out, oh, about 2020 I think this came out. So this is the SRPD. This is the 57K1. Well, SRPD 57K1. <laughs> I'll get it right. Um, standard Seiko box. Actually, there's no distinguishing on the box. There's no uh, model number. Actually, looking at it, that's a bit strange. Now, I've got this from Amazon. I'll put a link down below. Now, this is available in several different colours. You would have seen this watch. This is not a new watch that plenty of channels covered over the time, but it's a new one for me. Now, I showed you the orange one on the pole, um, and I didn't go with the orange one. So, standard box. Instructions, very big book of instructions actually um, I think it's the 4R36 caliber I will confirm that but I can't remember I'll confirm it for the review but I think it's the 4R36 in this particular one pretty standard Seiko 5 box nice and here we go so this is the version I went for oh, let's get into focus and it was the black and gold I went. I looked at the orange one, and it's the one I put up on the pole because that was my intention. However, when I actually saw it in real life, and I managed to see one in real life. It was a little bit, a little bit too orangey, for one of a better phrase. I'm gonna say I'll, I'll put a couple of the colours up um, that you can see, and I'll show you the orange one as well. Now this watch is quite large. I'll just get it up here. Here, it's a 43 mil in diameter, so quite a big watch. Now I've got an 8 inch wrist, remember, so. That's pretty average for me. The bigger, the better to a degree. Well, to a point. Oh, that's well wrapped as well. Now this cost around 200 pounds. What's that, $220, something like that? $230. Automatic, so as I say, nice display, display case back. Oh, not the camera. Yeah, really nice, okay. Seiko, there we go, so the just to show you, it's the SRPD 57K1. Yeah, 4R36. Yes, I thought it was. There we go, it's a nice bit of wrapping on it. So stainless steel build, obviously. Crystal's only hard lex, which I know Seiko is known for. And some people, and I think even Jody's put out a, a short today saying that uh, it's one of the things he doesn't like about Seiko. I do wish they do sapphire. It's a really weighty watch. I don't know what the weight is on this. It's probably about 170 grams or something like that. Right, let's see if I can get this all unwrapped. Oh, okay. They've done a good job of wrapping it. That is going to feed through there, he says. Oh, try and keep it in camera. It helps. Oh. Right, let me see if I can get this on wrist just to show you before... I go. Oh no, I didn't do a good job. Oh, there we did. And let's get this off here. I say nicely wrapped. I went with the black and gold just because I wanted something a little bit more, I suppose, understated, a little bit more classic, mainly. Uh, I thought the orange was a bit, well, I think that's part of the sports section. I think this is one's part of the, well, this is the sports, I think, actually, thinking about it, not the suits range. Okay, so. About 13 mil thick, I think, off the top of my head. Well, it looks more than 13 to me, but I swear that's what it said on the description. Oh, look at that movement. That's a really nice sweep, isn't it, that? I'd say, got that gold, which actually pops much brighter than I thought it would on the watch, and I actually prefer that. I thought it looked quite flat, but it does pop quite a bit. I hope that comes across on the camera. Right, so, let's try it on wrist. Right, what am I wearing today? Oh, I'm wearing one of the Citizens today. I'll put a link. It's on a different strap, actually, but I'll put a link to that. One of my favourite watches. Um, I'll put a link to that up in the corner. Let's take that off. Right, so... A while since I did Seiko. The camera's having a little trouble focusing. I'm going to have to set that up, I think. 
There we go, right, let's try it on this. Out the box. Bump, and there we go. So eight inch wrist. That fits really nice, quite weighty. I do like it. I'll get the review to this done soon. Oh, I didn't take that bit of paper off. Oh, all the way. Take that bit out as well. But yeah, really nice. Fold over class bracelet's really nice. Now, if that isn't your type of watch, this might be your type of watch. And I'll say I'll put a link to that in the corner. Thanks to everybody who's watched, subscribed, and commented. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.